We simply have to focus on this man. Well, he's a good all-round player. When he's closing the ball down, he does it at pace. When he's linking up the play, he's good at that. But his real attribute and his threat is when he runs in behind defenders. That's when he's at his most dangerous. <laughs> It's coming up live. Hello to you from the south coast of England. The venue for this game is the Amex Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Brighton and Hove Albion, and they take on Arsenal. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? The initial 11 today for the hosts. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal-scoring threat. In possession to give them the lead, maybe. And diving to thwart him. And deflected beyond the byline, so a corner here. Corner kick played in. Oh, fantastic effort. He made great contact, but the keeper more than equal to it. Corner awarded to Arsenal. Oh, good save. Excellent header. And pressing from the front. Well, Kai Havertz brings so many positive qualities to the football pitch. Interested to know what you think we might see from him in this match. Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes around the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. Pascal Gross. Brighton a bit wasteful in possession. And a free kick awarded by the referee. Promising sequence. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. Gabriel. And here's Saliba. Ben White. Bukayo Saka. Not what he was intending, bad pass. Pascal Gross. He has teammates around him. Now perhaps they can counter from here. Well, not to be in terms of the counter attack. Havertz. And keeping it out.
Who can he pick out? Oh, just the kind of save every goalkeeper would expect to make. Welbeck. Pedro. Genuine chance. Still can be dangerous. And eventually, goalkeeper's ball. Well, you can sense the relief amongst his teammates, but what a first save that was. Kai Havertz. Oh, fancy footwork. Is it going to be? And look at that. A goal here for Arsenal, who now have got themselves on terms. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. While the movement in the box is equal to it, it's such good timing. What a goal. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. need to stop him he'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge Martin Odegaard Havertz and Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position Havertz it's gone in and well he might celebrate on the back of that Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And Havertz's finish gives the keeper no chance. He hits it with such venom. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. Kaoru Mitoma. And play halted, free kick given. Taking care of business defensively here. And the counter attack is on, options available. He's in behind. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And then the perfect finish from Jesus. He really does hit this with power. That's an excellent goal. Well, that's a tale of four goals in this match now. Three, one it is. Pascal Gross. Well, moving the ball forward, they might be in business. It's a perfect challenge. Breaking at pace. And the counter attack came to nothing. Pascal Gross. And now with Estupinian. Mitoma. Well, they have the ball once more. Well, three minutes of stoppage time added on here. Gilmore. Pascal Gross. On to Estupinian. Getting forward. 
Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Well, the referee blows the whistle, and that is going to be all for the first 45 here at the Amex. Well, Gabriel Jesus can lead the line with the best of them. All his qualities on display in this game, Stuart. Well, his skill level to go past defenders and get shots away has been excellent today. The only surprise, he's just got the one goal. So the ball moving, the pendulum has already swung Arsenal's way in this game. Will we see more of the same in the second half? And they've given him too much space. Could reduce the deficit, and he does! There was hope for them, despite the adversity they suffered earlier. Well, here it is again, and the defending simply isn't good enough. They have to react quicker, deal with the danger, and show more urgency. None of which they did, and that's the result. Three-two it is. Who would have predicted that before a ball was kicked? William Saliba. Gabriel Martinelli. It does appear to be opening up on the flank for Arsenal here. Big chance! It's got to be! Blocked it brilliantly, and it's gone in for Arsenal! Will they be stopped from this position? Well, here we can see it again, and no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here, deal with the danger, otherwise that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Brilliant piece of skill. Chance to get themselves back into it. Oh, that is a superb save. Now they have possession in a good area of the pitch. Throw in here for Arsenal. William Saliba. Now, who can he play it to? Giving the ball to the opposition that time. And clears his lines. Oh, good hands there from the keeper. Dunk. How can he take them on and beat them? Rice. Can they keep it out? And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. Well, let's take another look. And it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. they go again Arsenal very much in charge it's turning into a right old thrashing Jan Paul van Hecke and now with Estupinian Gross 
Well back. And the keeper more than equal to it. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Played over. Really fine catch by the goalkeeper. Under a bit of pressure too. And just failed to keep the ball in play that time. Dunk. Twenty minutes to go. Oh yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Not a scoreline we see all that often. 5-3. Well back in the middle. Simple catch, really. Bukayo Saka. We need to get tighter here. Sound piece of goalkeeping. looks promising and he got to it fairly easily Mitoma trying to open them up and keeping it out here it is now a substitution Who can he pick out? Can he get one back? Full marks to the keeper. Well, what a reaction from the goalkeeper. Such a good save in the end. <laughs> and he's fired over the corner and collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Ben White. No let up on the pressing front. Arsenal a bit wasteful in possession. Could reduce the deficit. Oh, a challenge of the highest order. And support available. Shot attempted. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Time for a change then. Corner kick forthcoming. Well, he made the catch under pressure. In with a chance. Oh, great goalkeeping. Well, that's a top quality save. Great anticipation. Can someone get on the end of this? He can't hold on to it. 
in a good position to clear it away. Dunk. Well, this is far from over. We're going to have five minutes of stoppage time. Dunk. Now with Gilmore. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Can they keep it going? Towards Gabriel Jesus, far post. Oh, a really good header. But the goalkeeper there's a cover-up. Sound piece of defending. And they need to get tighter. Good effort here. And now it is official. The referee brings this match to an end. And it's a victory for the Gunners. Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also look threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. Well, in typical fashion, at times, Kai Havertz made it look easy. Interested to know what you made of his performance. Well, no doubt in my mind, he was the best player on the pitch, and the main reason they won this game, he was brilliant.